Hi, I'm Chase thompson Ball with Simply Mac, your local source for everything Apple. We're a Utah-based Apple specialist with eight stores in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. And today we're going to show you some more quick tips on the iPad that I know you're just going to love. So now I'm going to show you how you can enable or disable a passcode on the iPad. So when we're talking about passcodes, probably you don't want to put it on a company's iPad. But on my personal one, this is definitely something that I want to have on. So if I slide to open, you'll notice that I have a passcode. This is not the one I normally use, but it's definitely something I want on my personal one because I have tons and tons of apps. I have sensitive PDFs and PDF Expert. I also have access to cloud services like Dropbox, Box, and Air Sharing. So I want to make sure that this data is protected. So I set up a passcode. I went to Settings and tapped on General and then came down here to Passcode Lock. Now since mine is already on, it asks me to enter it before I can make any changes. So I will go ahead and do that. If you didn't have one on, then you would tap Turn Passcode On right there, and it would ask you what uh, passcode you want. Now you'll notice that my passcode is just a four-digit passcode. That's not the best if you want to have a really strong passcode. So I'm going to take Simple Passcode and turn that off. Now it asks me, once again, to change my passcode, so I have to enter in the old one first. And then it's asking me to set up a new one. Let me dock my keyboard here. And I can type in whatever I want. So maybe I'll just type in uh, simply Mac 1234. Again, not the most secure one. If I really wanted to make it secure, maybe I'd type in some ones for the I's and simply and uh, the A at symbol for uh, A and Mac. But that'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap next. And it says go ahead and type it in one more time. So simply Mac 1234 done. So now if I lock my iPad, it's going to prompt me for my passcode. Now some people might find this a little bit tedious, especially if you uh, do want to have a long passcode. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a timeout. So I'm going to come back here to passcode lock. Again, I have to type it in so that I can just get in. And require passcode immediately is the default setting. So basically, if I lock my iPad, it's going to need a passcode immediately after locking. So I'm going to tap on that. And maybe I'm going to say uh, just after about five minutes, because if I lock it and want to just come right back, I want to be able to not type in my passcode every time. So I'm going to go ahead and just get out completely. And that will save it. So let's lock it and open it back up again. Perfect. It was within that five minute time window and it didn't require a passcode. Now I, I recommend adding a passcode if you have sensitive data in there. If this is maybe like a, um, you know, a kid's iPad where they just have games or maybe some books, then maybe that's not necessary. And especially if you have another device like the iPhone, a passcode can be very, very essential. Again, I'm Chase Thompson-Ball with Simply Mac and I've shown you how you can enable or disable the passcode on your iPad.